Good morning. I am here at the Antiguan and Barbudan High Commission, and I'm going to be talking to the legendary Derek Clement and Rudy Page, and um, they are going to be supporting the event One Journey Four Brothers. So welcome, guys. Hi. Lovely to have you. Um, can I ask? Can I ask you? Can I ask Derek? Mm -hmm. Just tell me a little bit about what you do. Right, so I, I, I like to start with Derek Clement, a um, um, uh, student of Winston Isaacs. I love to plug Winston Isaacs because this was the man who literally shared to me his craft, and I'm, I'm, I'm about also sharing the craft to others. Uh, so, hairdresser since 1970s. Um, I'm really concerned about Afro hair. I'm an Afro hair stylist. I think it's important to say that these days because Afro hair is trending, uh, especially the natural movement. So, basically, that's it. That, that's me, Afro hairdresser, um, extraordinaire. Uh, love to see how our sisters today are enjoying the hair. The natural movement is massive, and and that's pretty much it for this uh, for segment. Thank you, Mr. Rudy Page. My name is Rudy Page, and uh, I'm the former sales and marketing manager for Dyke and Dryden. So in the 1980s. I was responsible for two of the largest shows in the 1980s. So the first one was the Afro Hair and Beauty, the Grove in the House in 1983. And then uh, I was also responsible for a show called Hair X in 1986 at Kensington Town Hall. So Len Dyke, Dudley Dryden, Tony Wade, they were the legends of the industry at the time. In fact, at the time, we were also the largest provider of trade credit to Caribbean businesses mm -hmm. in, the, in the UK. We handled all of the international brands at the time, mm -hmm. created many jobs. Dyke and Dryden had over 50 employees in those days with shops in Hackney, Haringey, uh, warehouse in, in Haringey also, and were supporters of many community activities. In fact, we used to do a lot of outreach work in children's homes, in schools, explaining about Afro hair. Dyke and Dryden also had their own brand as well, products known as Super Curl and Natural Beauty. Absolutely. They were also one of the largest investors in hairdressing schools as well. So that they really were, um, from end to end, very much involved in the industry and the community as well. Thank you. So, um, you, I've worked with you both before, and I'm really excited that you um, have agreed to support um, Free, uh, this initiative that supports untold stories of creatives in the area of arts, music and fashion. Mm -hmm. And as you know, our first event kicks off by celebrating Black British Visual Arts. In fact, Derek, Earlier you said to me, I'm an artist in motion. Absolutely. And I like that because Absolutely. that's exactly what hairdressers are. Yeah. So, um, and you've, mm. you know, Rudy, I've seen some of the old footage. In fact, I was at that first event right. that took place at the hotel, yeah, Grosvenor House. House. And yeah. I remember the fashion show. And in yes. fact, Joycelyn Phillips, yes. the model who yes, went to, I went to school with her, her yes. brother's in my class, I recognise. I thought, my really? gosh. Mm. So this you've, this, you've always had a link to the creative industries. Yeah, yeah. You know? I've always been on the, one of those who, can visualise and facilitate and then find the talent, yes. identify the talent yes. and, all together. and say, you know, Absolutely. here's the platform. platform. That's, yeah. that's, and that's what Free is about. So we, yeah. we think this is a nice support, a nice collaboration. Absolutely. And Derek, you being a, an artist in motion, how has um, visual arts mm -hmm. uh, impacted or does it inspire the work that you do? It certainly has, actually. And, and, and I'm so happy we said that. When you get somebody's hair from scratch, you have the the task of literally, um, in your mind, you visualize what the style is going to be at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And right, so in, in, in that process, you're actually creating a work of art. So, mm -hmm. great point. Work, uh, hairdressing is actually work, work it, it, it's art, isn't it? Art in motion, basically. Mm -hmm. Visual arts, absolutely supported. Great need, fantastic for the community. Yeah. And I can add to that point was that when I first visualized, Afro hair and beauty, it was because I, I actually won a trip to Atlanta mm -hmm. and I went to the Bronner Brothers show. So at the mm -hmm. time, in the early 80s, that was the largest black hairdressing show in the world. It still is. And what I saw was the way the Americans use music, fashion, and pizzazz, mm -hmm. 
to translate that into selling products. But the creativity was always there. The mm-hmm. style, the, the style mm-hmm. created. So the clothes, the hair. Mm-hmm. But the importance was that the hair was the cornerstone. Absolutely. And then all of that creativity. So that's why in Hairex we talk about um, excellence and creativity and creati- creativity in excellence. It's mm-hmm. really important. Yep. Very, very good point, actually, really. I think, um, um, I mean, black hair for many years has been has been very um, sort of under under the, uh, the the sofa, so to speak. But now I think Afro hair has emerged. It is now trending. I think to, to have Afro hair today is like it's, it's a gold mine, isn't it, really? Yeah, and, uh, and 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 for the first time, black women have realised how important the hair is. And so we see a display of different plethora of different hairstyles. Yeah. So we have something called blacks. Even the bald woman is an expression of art, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Right? And Sorry. And, and, and of course, after that, blacks is an acronym for all the things Afro hair can do. Whether it's braided, it's art. Whether it's locked, oh. it's art. A weave could be also artistic. Because yeah. to, to get the weave to move in a way that complements a woman's face is in itself artistic. Yeah. It's funny, um, and I really actually understand those synergies and the artist Alvin Kofi who we're um, spotlighting for the event One Journey Four Brothers Mm -hmm. did a piece or a collective of work called Crowning Glory celebrating that that movement that he could see happening Mm -hmm. with black hair and then to support Derek's point so Mm -hmm. years ago they used to talk about um, um, shape was it shape Balance and movement. Balance and mm-hmm. movement, mm-hmm. right? And so in this era going forward now, mm-hmm. over the next few years, we, we, we talk about Afro hair design, mm-hmm. cutting and styling. Mm-hmm. So Derek teaches shade and fade mm-hmm. because part of the transformation, and we talk about uh, this renewal is being powered by women, is it also means that we're now going to have more women doing barbering, shade and fade, which is a great economic opportunity mm-hmm. as well, which is important. So there's, a, there's probably now a greater awareness on the economic value of Afro hair in a way that that hadn't been for probably the last 30 years. Because what I think there's a, a better understanding is, is that, that that can transform our community it can give opportunities to young people. And most importantly, it's promoting entrepreneurship. Through the arts. Very this is an artistic yeah, platform. And absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. And you'll see over the next year how we link the music, the fashion, the hair. Because they were, they were at one time, they were together. It was mm-hmm. an automatic way of doing things. There was no separation. Very good point, actually. Rudy just said, talked about uh, empowerment and renewal. It's interesting, and, and he also mentioned women. Um, our industry, in my opinion, has been led by women at the highest level. So go back 100 years, you, people like Annie Malone, phenomenal entrepreneur and hairdresser. And after her, I think she inspired Madam C.J. Walker. So what's interesting, Annie Malone talked about it's not just about hair. So we also have a, a similar ethos. It's not just about hair. It's what we could convey to the community, right? Empowerment, entrepreneurship, creativity. Minding our own business. That's right. Minding Absolutely. Our own business. Thank you. It has allowed us to do that. I mean, our industry has allowed us to mind our own business, actually, because we don't have to Until now, <laughs> everyone's <laughs> spotlight, right. spotlight. And this is happening in the... Um, this is, I think, if you... Um, speak to the artists that are going to be spotlighted on the day Mm -hmm. or sharing the journey with Alvin Kofi, they have had to work silently Mm -hmm. minding their own business and also they advocate owning what they do Mm -hmm. and now Mm -hmm. black British visual arts or black visual arts Mm -hmm. is becoming quite a commodity spotlights on that it's more important now that we are telling our stories ourselves and and, and, and and building this and what underpins that economic value is collaboration and bringing together complementary skills, which is really important now that we're in this 21st century era, going into the 2020 era, I should say, yeah. where technology has no gatekeepers. So it, it, it makes sense. And well, there's great examples around the world of that level of collaboration. 
wonderful point with the technology has no gatekeeper. And what's interesting, I think technology has allowed us to surface once again. Once again, because you have to remember back in the day, we were just pretty much below the radar. But today, because of our art, our, 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 our art form in, in the industry, because of technology, we are everywhere. And also we are able to celebrate our legacy, our heritage, yeah. Um, and, and, and shed light on the, the giants of the day, uh, the Winston Isaacs, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah, I'm told the, stories. The Dyke and Giants, yeah. of course, yeah. these people still. Yeah. And I've still got the, the original video from 1983, so for years... It's a gem, isn't it? <laughs> people used to wonder, really, what are you doing all these old videos? Mm. But who, who was to know how mm. technology would change? Mm. And now it's such an important uh, piece of uh, documentation mm -hmm. And because it, it's, it, you, you see how we look then, what the fashions were like, and in, in fact, it's quite interesting to see how much today is obviously built on what was in the past. So <laughs> those people arriving today feeling that they've done it before, and we're always saying it's all been done before. It's all been done nothing before. Been, nothing nothing new, new under the sun. Nothing new under and the we sun. call it knowledge sharing because, in sure. fact, you're, you're documenting, you're scribing exactly. your history, so we can yeah. tell it to not just our own community but for everyone. That's what our movement, that's yeah. our movement's called yeah. free from us for everyone. Yeah. So it's us taking um, responsibility for telling stories, but for everyone to share the knowledge and understand. I like that. We've always been free, haven't we? We've always yeah. been free passing <laughs> information on, actually. Sharing it with uh, yeah. All like our that. revenues, it's sharing it with everyone. <laughs> information <laughs> and revenue very different, though, isn't it? That's yes, right, yeah. that's right, that's and, right. And, and as you touch on there, because, again, that's what we say. So we say the price of empowerment is collective responsibility. Really and, like that. And that note, I mean, Rudy and I, I mean, we have an absolute passion to ensure that we carry that legacy forward, we mm -hmm. carry the heritage forward, we tell them, we carry the information in, 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 in our very hearts, basically. We've seen the industry grown from strength to strength from back in the days, in the 70s, up to now. It's a massive industry. And somebody has to get keep it. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank exactly. you so much. Um, Derek Dakota Clement thank you, man. and Mr. Rudy Page, Mr. Both of you actually. Yeah. Um, thank you for supporting Free and the Absolutely. event, and we look forward to more collaboration. Yeah, with we're you. delighted to, my darling. Absolutely. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank, thank you for your thank Brilliant. you. Brilliant.